Hey YouTube, it's Rick here. It's been a while. And I mean a while. Now, let me start by saying I'm super active on Instagram. So if you like to follow me there, I'm Rick Relentless on Instagram. I post a lot of stuff there. Um, a lot has changed for me. I have not posted a video on YouTube for a long time and it bothers the shit out of me because I wish I would. Um, it's just, you know how it is when you're an entrepreneur, you're like a one person show. You're running so many things that at least i am i mean i'm just doing so many different things at once that it's just so hard to actually stop and film and my way of reselling my way of sourcing is very different i'm not going to thrift stores i'm actually going inside people's homes so it's a little bit weird right to have a camera going i'm gonna figure out a way to do it because i could have some amazing content which many of you could learn from um, and it'd be fun to kind of look back. So I would definitely like to document a lot of that stuff, a lot of what's going on in my journey. Um, I'm in my storage unit right now. So I'm going to just take a moment and let you know what's been going on with me. I, um, as many of you know, some of you don't know, I own a estate sale business. That was my first thing. Now, I'm the type of entrepreneur that does a, many different things. I truly believe you need to diversify to win because when you do a lot of different things you run out of excuses of this is slow oh this is not working that's no good when you're doing many things there's always something happening so if this slows down you now focus your attention on this right and when that slows down now you learn something totally different that you didn't think you were going to do right so you know you may start out like I was selling Amazon FBA books for a while and I loved it and I was successful at it, did very well. And now I barely have any books at Amazon. I still have a few little sales trickling in here and there, but I've changed everything. And what I've recent, most recently have gone into is mid-century modern furniture. So vintage furniture, buying on Facebook, on Craigslist, you know, uh, directly because I... I get into a lot of homes a lot of realtors recommend me yeah that's the kind of reseller i am like a lot of people are used to going to you know if you're doing clothing you're going to the bins you're going to book sales you're going to uh goodwill the salvation army to buy whatever you resell right my thing always was get into people's homes because especially when you diversify because when you buy many different things you want to get into a home because that's where you're going to have the option of of doing really well because, you know, I've been called in to buy some furniture and I walk out with like a sterling silver set or some gold jewelry or some um, whatever it is, hard goods or some antiques, you know. So getting into the home is where you're going to win. And I truly believe that there's no doubt about it. So imagine like walking into it. It's basically like walking into an estate sale, but you're the only customer there and you get pick of the house. So that's my goal. And the way I reach that is, um, first of all, being in the state sale business, right? So people call me a lot of times, they don't want to deal with having a sale, they don't want the public come through the house. So, you know, we come in and actually buy out the contents. That's what you're going to see back here. I'm in my storage room right now. Pretty jammed, not so so bad. Um, but anyway, so buying in bulk is, is always going to be the win directly from homeowners, people that are moving, people have passed, people are going to nursing home, whatever situation is, yeah, they need to clear the house. So when somebody needs to clear the house, you have leverage because, you know, they went through, they already took their family photos, they took the jewelry, the good stuff, the, the, whatever they took, and now they're content and they're like, you know what, to me, this is all either junk or, hey, we would hate to see this get dumped. Could you do anything with it? Could you could you resell it could you donate whatever you want to do with it right so anyway so i'm in my surgery unit right now but anyway getting back to what i've been into uh, of late has been mid-century modern furniture and i have gone all in because it's a tremendous market it's going to be hard to explain real quick on this video but for many of you that follow me on instagram you see what's going on um you know i'm buying ch chairs for a 100 bucks or credenzas and they're selling for thousands of dollars it's like it's like designer furniture from like the 50s, 60s, 70s. Um, and it's been doing tremendous for me. And the way I've been doing it is literally buying on Facebook. Again, 
from homes on Craigslist, wherever I could get it. And, um, and it'll take a while to kind of figure out what to buy. So I'm just throwing out everything at you because I haven't been on here for a while. So I just want to give, give you all of what's going on. But anyway, I've been selling mid-century modern furniture, usually at auction. So I've been buying, 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 stuffing it in here. Um, having the auction truck come pick it up or I bring it there directly. And um, and then they have an auction like every month, every two months, like depending on what's going on. So, And then I just get one big check. So that's been my thing that I've been all into. Now, I want to shift a little bit. Um, I'm still going to do that because the money's tremendous. And this is how it is as an entrepreneur, right? Started with books. Well, really, state sales, always reselling, reselling for years and years and years. But, you know, I kind of got into the book thing really hard, went all in, learned there. Then I shifted and always doing the state sales along the way. So this is what I'm talking about, diversifying. So either running, truly running an estate sale or buying out the contents of a home, having dealers come here, going to the flea market, selling stuff on eBay. So, um, right, it sounds like I'm like all over the place. But you need to be all over the place to make money because you're working for yourself. There's no, nobody's giving us a paycheck. So like I need to find a way where I cannot lose. So when I'm doing many different things, as complicated as it sounds, and I will break it down slowly on YouTube, you know, throughout videos, but just trying to do it all and shifting along the way, right? So outgrowing the book thing. So, you know, like you as a entrepreneur, as a part-time reseller, as a new reseller, old reseller, you know, you may have started in this direction and then all of a sudden you, you found this niche and you shifted that way, right? So it's like kind of finding your way, right? And doing what works best for you, uh, putting uh, your time and energy into the best place to make you the maximum amount of money and also being happy. Like I enjoy doing books. But, you know, I have a family, I have a lot going, so I can't just kind of sit back and do what I enjoy, you know. Yeah. And I still do do it, just haven't sent in a shipment in a while, but I need to do what's going to make me the most money for my time. And, um, and I'm always diversifying and, and kind of finding my way and seeing what works. Um, so, at the moment, this, what you see here, I'm going to flip the camera around in a moment is just a lot of stuff from house buyouts. So like over the last few months, I just, you know, again, I'll go to a house, um, I'll literally cherry pick the whole house and then just stuff it in boxes. I'll stuff it in boxes and then I'll sort through it later. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna try to do a little, an eBay pile. Cause I just, I definitely wanna get more active on eBay. I actually went and bought bins uh, cause I want to separate. So I want to do an eBay pile and then the rest, I want to just blow out at the flea market. Cause I've been sitting on this stuff for a while. Um, the reason is I had furniture all in here, like on top of everything. So it was just a mess, but I sent everything out to the auction house. So that's out. So now I could kind of focus in on this stuff and, and, uh, and the way I look at it, like this looks like a mess, right? But like, to me, it's money. There's money in a bank here cause every box is stuffed with some good stuff and, and potential profit. So right now, I'm gonna flip this camera around in a moment and show you what's going on right now. And then we'll kind of go through this a little bit. Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to get through a lot of it, but just kind of show you what's been going on. Sorry if it sounds like I'm rambling. I'm all, you know, it's, I'm excited to share what's been happening. And I truly miss YouTube. Like I, I watch so many of you resellers and stuff. So I, I really, really want to get back into it. So like, subscribe, whatever it is they do on YouTube, and um, hit the bells and all that stuff. And uh, and we'll we'll continue this journey together. If you look back on some of my other videos, like I, I had a little store and stuff, so it's kind of cool to look back. So you should document as well, even if you're not posting it on YouTube. Just kind of. It's fun to take like mental notes or I'm sorry, notes on video on just to have to kind of look back and see what's been going on with your with your life and your reselling business and uh, see how you have evolved. So I'm going to show you what's happening today at my storage unit here. This is my truck, my beauty. 
never posted this on YouTube, but this is uh, the truck I bought probably about a year ago. Put the roof rack on there for a little extra stuff. Here comes the train. Stand by. So yeah, this is my truck. Um, I put this cap on and it's been amazing. Having a cap on a pickup is so good because obviously you don't have to strap things in all the time. Things aren't flying around. Then I have that extra space up there and I just love the truck, you know, as a entrepreneur and stuff like this is my office. This is my everything, right? And uh, and I'll be getting a trailer soon so I could hook it up and, and haul some more stuff. But so this is a credenza. I just wheeled it out here because I have somebody coming to pick it up. Uh, this is a piece I bought for, I believe like, I believe a hundred bucks or something like that. Bought this a little, a while ago and I sold it for 800 bucks. So that credenza, these are the drawers. I'm going to take them out now. And that nightstand there, I try to wrap it up when I'm leaving a house. I try, just a little extra protection, but so very good score here. Now she paid for this on PayPal a while ago. This was like Facebook marketplace. And she asked if I could hold it for a while, and it's literally been like, I don't know, a month and a half or so. So the guy is finally coming to pick it up today. Here's some mid-century modern chairs, a pair. Paid like 75 bucks for this pair. So um, for many of you that don't know, because I don't see many resellers talking about mid-century modern furniture, you know, the 60s, the funky stuff. That's what's kind of hot right now. So the antiques used to be hot. Now that's not doing very well. But the mid-century modern stuff is doing well. Like, see the funky design on the drawers? Just like cool legs. I've been doing really, really well. I mean, literally, I haven't even done estate sales in a while because I've been putting in so much attention into the mid-century modern stuff. And it's not just furniture. It's like... uh lighting you know lamps uh chandeliers sofas so it's just mid-century modern home furnishings like and i've been doing very very well i learned it super fast you know it's amazing when you see profit in something how much attention you will give it and learn really fast so you know and again it just opened up a whole nother avenue of business and like a tremendous business and and slowly, I know I'm going fast here on this video, but, you know, we'll break this down together and I will show you the process of literally me buying piece by piece by piece because every piece has a story and then sending this massive load to the auction house and then watching the results of the auction because the auction is live online. So, um, so that's a whole nother thing we'll get into. Also bought this. I think somebody's coming to look at this today. So, you know, I do, I sell a lot of stuff out of here as well because you're always going to do better selling stuff um, yourself because the auction house gets a percentage and you just use, ordinarily you're going to do better selling stuff yourself. So sometimes I'll list stuff. If it doesn't sell quick, then I'll send it out to the auction house. But anyway, so right now I'm going to open this. So this is like a special door. It's actually super cool. I love this cap. This has like a little door here that I could just throw boxes in or the whole door opens. Then I got this special um, like mat. I forgot what this is called, but like a uh, rubber coating. It's excellent. Let me just release. I have a strap in here and I'll show you how this opens. And you need this, you know, like if you're doing bulk, like especially because I started doing this furniture thing, ugh, stand by. You need as much space as you could get, you know, if you're doing hard goods or books and stuff like that. So right now it's just like my son's stuff, nothing much in here, but I did just go buy a bunch of bins. I just want to separate some stuff. So like a lot of the so-so stuff will be going to the flea market. The better stuff, because you're always going to maximize your money on eBay, uh, I'm going to put in here. So I'm going to get stuff out of boxes and kind of start separating things. I bought these bins at Big Lots, $5 each, which I thought was great. I mean, that's not bad at all. 
pretty deep. Just enough to like kind of pick through here because every box is jammed. I'm just gonna pull one out in a moment just to show you like how I do. So when I'm running through a house, I'm just tossing, tossing, tossing. And then I'll look into stuff later. This mirror is part of that set that they're coming to pick up soon. Just move this over. I thought this was pretty cool. I don't think it's worth much, but it's sealed from the 80s. I love 80s stuff. So just like a random box. Pen reels, that's probably a great hat. Probably 30 to 50 bucks online. Got some of these cars from the 80s. Have to clean these up a little bit, but hats always do well. I don't do much clothing, but anytime I see like interesting stuff, I'll throw it in. Say just randomly throwing stuff in the boxes. Let's see what we got here. Hess. Yeah, I know this house had a, like a collection of die-cast cars and stuff. I have the boxes somewhere in here. Um, yeah, so stuff like this. Like, nothing high ticket. But this is like the eBay stuff that adds up, right? Like the bread and butter stuff that, that I would love to start selling more of. Because honestly, I don't. I mean, I'm just kind of... I guess I've gotten spoiled as of late, like doing really high-end expensive stuff like the furniture but you know it's it's those quick you know twenty dollar thirty dollar fifty dollar sales that add up tremendously let me get back in here the lighting in here is pretty bad but looks like a lamp and i did take some better stuff home I'll I'll actually add some photos. I, I got recently. I scored some serious electronics. There's a Sansui that's actually new in the box. So vintage, but new in the box. Um, God, just so much stuff here. It's gonna be so hard to go through because there's like a mountain happening. So I'm gonna have to sort through old VCR. <laughs> uh, so it's kind of fun though right because you never know it's like i totally forget what i took this looks like some vintage shirts so the fun part is actually buying it kind of treasure hunting and then going through it right and kind of seeing like oh cool look what i got right i'm pretty sure this is all clothing and I ordinarily don't grab clothing out of houses, but this is like some, like I for sure know one of these bags has like 30 polo shirts. Um, so stuff like that I'll just grab because it's an easy sell either online or at the flea market. But we got this sword here. I just found this the other day when I was digging through. So that's cool. Some hipster bags. Ah, just a tremendous amount. But I'm not complaining. I mean, you know, like I said, money in a bank, right? Vintage electronics. Oh, I just don't know where to start. <laughs> Again, what I'm really trying to do is put the better stuff in the bins. To maybe take a bin home, list the bin, bring it back, you know. Probably a guitar in here. So that's that. So I'm going to search through here, see what I could do. This may be a Griswold. Uh, I would love to do a video of literally taking all these boxes out. And going through it, that'll be the fun part. That'll be a fun video on here, and I'll probably do that. 
Not sure if I'll do it today. I'm going to start doing some stuff just to get make a little room here. I'm glad he's coming to pick that up because that was kind of clogging up my space. So once these drawers are out, um, I'll kind of reorganize some stuff here. I got so excited when I seen these bumpers wrapped in original wrapping. These were in the rafters in a garage. And I took them, and this was out of a house buyout, and I looked up the comps, and the comps were like 800-ish for the front and the back. And I'm like, oh, score, right? And then I started unwrapping them, and they were like rusty and used. So they are not new. They're wrapped in, in, the, in the old stuff, right? The old paper, the original wrapping that it came in. And this was just an extra. So I went from like... 800 bucks to like maybe a hundred ish on this always grab records i don't care what kind like these are old victrola records but like oh they always sell so good for me so always grab records i have a stack here when i go to the flea market i mean they go nuts for this stuff all right so i started digging through these boxes i have my bin here so I'm starting to put some better stuff into the bins. Really amateur here. I have no tripod, so like I can't really. I know some people have the GoPros that they actually walk around with. With the strap, that's what I should really get. That'd be great. So you could really see what's happening here. But um, basically, I'm trying to clear this table area here, um, just to make some room, kind of get a little bit organized. So I guess I'll take this and show you. All right, so this is this table is kind of in the way. I need to clear one side so when I get new stuff, I could just reload here. Um, so there's really no need for this table. So I'm going to put this stuff in boxes. And I'm sorry it's dark in here, but I'm going to kind of go through here and see what we have. Nice brass lamp. It's pretty cool. I love beachy stuff. Okay. vintage hat some kind of fishing hat so that'll go in here that'll go into the bin um i just found this and it's heavy so this is it looks to be new in the box these like ham radio cb radios these do well i didn't look any of these comps up so i'm not sure what it's doing beer sign I love this lamp. It's really big. I don't know if you can see, but really funky. That's kind of mid-century-ish. Then we have like a Tiffany-style lamp here. I mean, this place is, it's a disaster. This is, there's, this is no way to treat junk, right? Believe me, if it was something tremendous, it wouldn't be in here. All right, that's a pretty nice lamp. And it's funny, like every piece has a story. Like I remember where I got it and stuff. So it's, it's probably a typewriter. They don't, they don't do so well anymore. Another lamp shade. All right, there's the base. So that's good, I'll leave that there. So what's gonna end up happening here is basically I'm just gonna be moving around the same junk. But at least I'll have some sort of um, some sort of uh, strategy here. This is cool. I forgot about this. That's really nice glass. Art Deco. Vintage plane, that's cool. Little vintage receiver there. Kind of mid-century-ish. hat hats are great this is like good ebay stuff easy to ship light this is like my little i got this out of a house buyout this is like little odds and ends when i'm fixing like i had to fix the leg on that credenza so always good to have some tools and stuff i live in a townhouse so 
I don't have a garage at home, so kind of everything gets stuffed here. Some craftsman tools here. Tools are another tremendous thing. Uh, you know, that's a whole nother game. I'm not, I don't know about it very well. Like I know to buy it, especially if it's vintage or, but that's a whole nother game. Yeah, anytime you see vintage antique tools, buy it because some of it does serious numbers. This is like antique scale. Mm. I guess I'll put that in here for now. I just, I'm trying to get this table out of here, so some fabric. I'll use this to wrap this up. Nice funky bag. Military board game. Nice inlaid. This is good if you're checking for gold or silver. Magnifying glass. I just buy the weirdest things. It's crazy. Like, I don't even know what the hell this is, but this is like the weird stuff that sometimes does well. You know, you throw this on eBay and you just never know. Auction or something. I know there's a box full of this stuff, like vintage bar stuff does really well. Some more craftsmen. I mean, this is all good stuff. I wouldn't consider most of this flea market, even though you could, you know, you could sell it the flea market, you're just not gonna do as well because it's usually, you're selling it to resellers, right? So it's like wholesale. Cast iron pan here. This, I was, you know what? I bought this because it was cool looking, metal rusty. I wasn't sure what it was, but I think this is a a grave, what do you call it? A grave pot thing. I think they put the flowers in here. So, fraternal order, fraternal order of, I'm not sure. But it just looked cool, so. Heavy. Perfumes. Vintage perfume. I mean, this is a great little table. So this table basically just, if you're new to reselling, this is going to teach you a lot. And there's a reason why I'm buying every certain particular item. So like vintage perfume bottles, even if there's no perfume in it, still could do really well. I'm not sure if these are it, but in general vintage perfume bottles do really well so this is actually a great example right so like what do we see here vintage board game um vintage bags craftsmen so tools vintage hats uh lamps you know this is a great example vintage electronics and this is what i talk about diversifying now if you're a person that only sells clothing you would look at all this and be like this is all shit right this is all junk I don't know what it's worth. I'm not going to even try to buy it. So you may be going to estate sales, garage sales to buy clothing and you're passing up, you know, the vintage receiver that may do 300 bucks, right? Or, you know, if this is a Griswold, this could do, you know, you know, 500. All right. So it is a Griswold. So, you know, some of these go for a thousand dollars, right? Probably not this one, but you know, the point is you could have bought this for five bucks at the garage sale while you were going to look for books, right? So this is why, you know, watching a video like this and watching a lot of other resellers and connecting with people in the community, this is where you're going to learn. So this actually worked out really well because I'm definitely not going to be able to get to a lot of this, but I'm just going to try to work my way and, uh, and, and I'll keep doing the videos. So we'll kind of go through this together through the videos but you know hey this is a great example and for you know the vets out there you know people know right so if you're seasoned if you've been reselling for a long time you know exactly what i'm talking about but 
you know, just odds and ends and everything has its place. Like eBay is a great place because you're going to maximize your money. You know, it's a little tedious, right? So like you have to list all these little things, but really that's my plan. So either I'm going to be hiring a lister or I'm just going to do it myself. There's money in the bread and butter, the 10, 20, 30, $50 sales. There is no denying it. It's a beautiful thing because stuff like this is easy to ship. You know, it's glass, right? But it's super light and and you can just pump this stuff out. So I see a lot of resellers doing that. And I'm kind of missing that. And I see what the problem is. I'm moving so fast that I'm blowing stuff at the out at the flea market for a wholesale and selling it to dealers. Because I have dealers coming here directly. And I have kind of been slowing all of that down. Because, you know, I'm kind of thinking to myself, you know what? Maybe I should step back. And actually start listing a lot of this stuff myself because i'm just going to maximize my money right so what else we got just random right so so new vintage christmas there's another great example so we got a santa claus in there um you know craziness in here I'll show you a few more boxes and then I'm going to wrap this video up, but there's a lot to be done here. So hopefully you'll join me on this crazy journey. So basically what I'm going to do is start listing on eBay and I'm going to explain what's how I'm going to do it and um, stand by. So basically what I want to do is start the eBay system. So right now my store is a total embarrassment. I don't even have a store. I just, but you know, usually I'll use eBay to sell some of the high ticket stuff, um, knowing that I'm going to do better on eBay than selling it at the flea market or to a dealer, to, you know, here. So, but I want to start getting into the bread and butter stuff. So I'm going to really start almost from scratch, even though I've been selling it on eBay for a long time here and there, especially with better stuff that I know is going to get a lot of attention. Um, but I just want to sell those little things and I just want to add that up because it's a numbers game, right? So like anything that you do is going to be a numbers game. The more you put in, the more you're going to get out, right? So I know for sure if I have 500 things listed or a thousand things listed, the money is just rolling in, right? And, and it's fun because it's going to kind of um, intensify my buying because, you know, sometimes I'll run through houses and I'll kind of leave the little stuff because of time or space or whatever it is. But, you know, if I do start that process of, you know, trying to do bread and butter stuff on eBay, um, then I'll grab those little things because 10 bucks, 20 bucks, I know how this works. It adds up. It, it There's a snowball effect in, in, in the numbers game. So, you know, I'm really excited about it and I'm going to start you know, I put in my work, right? I put in my money. I just, there's thousands of dollars in this storage unit for sure. No doubt about it, especially on eBay because you're going to maximize your money. So that's what I'm going to try to do. So I'm going to take my time. Um, how I'm going to set it up, I don't know. I may do, you know, like other resellers do with the bins. I may put, you know, take a bin home, maybe list a whole bin, bring it back, store it nicely, get some shelves in here, put a letter on there. So when it sells, I grab it. And then I ship it, right? So that's what I'm going to be working on. Here's another interesting box. Some vintage cars. There's jewelry in here. There's no, there's definitely not gold. I did find some gold in, in some of these boxes, but I already took that, added that to the gold pile. But, um... Yeah, I don't think any of this is gold. Oh, this is cool. I remember this. So, like, brochures for cars, manuals and stuff. So, stuff like that does well. You know, and here you go, right? So, here's eBay, right? Probably 10 bucks, 20 bucks. You know? Somebody that has a 95 Ford would probably like to have this. That's pretty cool. Especially when you get into this stuff. Look, vintage cars... You know, so that's cool. And I know there's some better ones than this, some really earlier stuff. Um, what else? Some bags.
another bag. Belt buckle. Mm, that's nice. Anybody need a ski? There you go. Not a ski, what do you call this? Uh, ice skates? Like this is for more like decor, right? Like this can't be used, but people use this in restaurants or, you know, on shows, you know, I'm buying New York City, so I get a lot of TV shows and, and, and movie, like places looking for props, right? So pretty often actually, especially with the furniture, like they were buying a lot of furniture from me, but like, you know, odds and ends like this. So I definitely have the other one somewhere here. Doggies. It's just a ton, ton, ton. So that's that. That's an example. This is what's been going on. This is the life of a reseller. I know this is not a storage unit I bought or I won. This is hard work. Many houses in one. And um, basically cherry picking through the homes. And that's that's the way I do it. That's what works for me. Some tools here. So this is fun, you know, kind of going through stuff. Yeah. Lots of work to do. All right, so I hope you enjoyed. This was like a little glimpse into what's been going on in my life and my um storage unit and um i'm definitely going to get a tripod or a um gopro one of those chest things so you can see exactly what's going on as i'm digging through these boxes and maybe going into homes and you know it'd be great to see the negotiation process and and everything that goes on like why am i buying this why am i not buying this and um and uh I, you know i truly appreciate everybody that watches the videos thank you for joining me on my journey um, comment below let me know what's going on in your life what's your youtube channel so i can follow you if you're on instagram i'm rick relentless follow me on there and um and let's do this together you know being an entrepreneur or a reseller is a lonely game so um you know it's great having a community like this so thank you